What's going on, you guys? It's me, Actually Bear, and welcome back to another Hypixel Skyblock farm tutorial. Now, in today's video, we are going to be covering Melon King and Sun Tzu Melon and Pumpkin Farm. Now, this used to be used with a black cat to get you to the 420 speed, but Hypixel have now made it so you can't use a black cat to get over 400 speed with ranchers boots so so now you have to farm with depth strider 3 on your ranchers boots and press w and either a or d to farm this farm so today's video is going to be a tutorial on how to build the farm how to use the farm and the profits we get from the farm in an hour so let's get into the tutorial okay to start off for this farm we are going to be pacing the plots from plot 21 to 22 that's 21, 13, 9, 14, 22. When we are farming this farm, we are going to be facing south. So we're going to be farming here and going this way. Now, this is because when you use the builder's ruler, if you want to use ladders, once placing them this way, they place the right direction. If you build the farm and you're farming it this way, they will place the ladders in this direction. So you'll have to place the ladders manually instead of using the builder's ruler and that's just downtime so to start off this farm we're going to place a row of soul sand here now this is where you're going to spawn and you're going to farm about like this now i'll show you the angles later on so once you place the soul sand here with the builder's ruler once we place this block we're going to leave a two block gap and then place soul sand again and then once we've placed this one we leave a three block gap so three and place again and then once we've done that we're going to Leave a two block gap, place soul sand, leave a two block, place soul sand, and then leave a two block, a three block, sorry, and then place another soul sand. So once we have this, we're going to leave another two block, soul sand, another two, soul sand, another three, soul sand. We're going to do this once more. So leave two blocks, place soul sand, two blocks, soul sand, two blocks, three blocks, place soul sand. Next, we're going to get a block that we can just break easy because this isn't going to be permanent. So we're going to place two blocks here, two blocks here, and then two blocks here, here here and then a two block two block two block two block two block two block and then on the end do a two block now once we've done that we're gonna get the dirt wand in the first slot and we're gonna place dirt like so like so on top of the tnt and then once we have this block here we're gonna go like three blocks like that so it's like a t and then two two t two 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 t two 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 t two like so next we're going to get a prismarine pump and place it on the soul sand now you want to make sure when once you place it on all the soul sand you want to make sure it goes all the way till the end of the plot if not just get a magical water bucket and fill all that in we're going to place these down real quick and we're going to check now this sometimes ends up like this sometimes it goes all the way we're going to go to the end here and let it meet them So working here missed one here this is just Hypixel being Hypixel, but um, yeah. So once you have like these areas, you can get a magical water bucket and you're going to fill those in. So they're all like this row. So we're going to fill these in like so. Where are the other one? Over here. Like I said, this, this is just Hypixel being Hypixel. It can also relate to your ping. Um, but there's that. They're all complete now. So once we've done that, we're going to get our TNT. We're going to miss a block here. Place two. Miss a block, place one. Skip a block, add TNT, skip a block, TNT. Then place one next to the dirt, skip a block, TNT, skip a block, TNT, place next to the dirt. And you just repeat this to the end, TNT, TNT. And then the final one, you're going to place TNT and then one over. Now, once you've done that, make sure your dirt wand is in the first slot. So we're going to place it like so. And then once we get to this area, we're going to place it on top of the dirt and the TNT. And then like so, so, on top of the dirt, TNT, like so, on top of the dirt, TNT. So we're going to continue like this. And then it should look like this. Okay, so once we've done that, we're going to get rid of all in TNT because we no longer need this now. Now this is an instant block break whilst you're flying. This is why I and Melon King and, and Sun Tzu both have used TNT. And now we're going to get TNT again. And where the trapdoor is, you're going to place TNT there on each of them. So let's do that real quick. 
once you've done that, you're going to get the builder's ruler, put ladders in, you're going to look at the block of TNT, and you're going to just look to the right of it, and you're going to place. Now, this is why you have to build a farm on this direction, because if you build it somewhere else, the ladders will end up looking weird and not correct. And then, obviously, you'll have to place them by hand. So we're going to go again, again, and one final one, like so. And now we're going to get our prismarine pump again, and now that we have the ladders here, we're going to place the water on here and let it go all the way to the end. And if it obviously messes up like the bottom row, we'll obviously fix it again. So go like so. Four times here. And we're going to see if it goes all the way. So far it's looking good. Looking good. So far it's looking good. And it, it did it perfectly. Okay, so that is the second layer complete. So now we're going to do the same again. Miss a block, place TNT, place TNT here, and then once you get to the water, we're going to place TNT down one. Miss a block, place TNT, miss a block, place TNT, and then down one again. So we're going to do this for the rest of the farm. Like so. And then place TNT hanging off the edge again. So now we're going to switch the dirt one to the first slot. We're going to place dirt down. Place it on top of the TNT, like so, and then up two on this TNT, and then continue. So we're going to do this real quick. Next, we're going to need some iron trap doors. We're going to need six stacks just like the wooden trap doors. And if we go here, on the bottom of the two, at the top, we're going to place trap doors. And we're going to do this all the way down like the wooden trap doors before. We're going to continue this on each of the L shapes of dirt, like so. Once you've done that, you're going to come to the iron trap doors. Next week, you're going to place TNT. You're going to do this on each section, like so. And once you've done that, you're going to get your ladders in your ruler and do the same again. Place the ladders on each of these sections. Once you've done that, we're going to come to the top of the iron trap doors and then place the prismarine pumps again. Once again, if they do mess up and they don't go all the way, you're going to want to go to the end and complete it. So, are these going to go all the way? Are these going to be in my favour? So far, so good. And Hypixel apparently likes me today. So that is that done. Now, this is each layer of the farm complete. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to get a hoe of greatest tilling and on each of the right side of these, you're going to hoe it and do like so. And that is the farm complete. Nearly. Now what you're going to do next is you're going to go to the desk, configure plots, and you are in plot 21. You're going to left click to modify, and you're going to save as a preset. Now I have a lot of them. I'm going to quickly delete this so we have a spare slot. I'm going to save preset, and we're going to name it cat melon. Like so, we're going to have a melon slice as the icon, and that is now saved. Now you're going to want to paste these on each of these plots. And once you have it pasted in, it is going to continue building the farm all the way to plot 22. So I will be back when these are all pasted. Okay, so that is now pasted along all the plots. Now, I know watching a video isn't always easy to follow along. Maybe I accidentally cut something out and you don't understand how to do it. So what I'm going to do is this first plot here, I'm going to copy and paste this and paste it on the other end of the garden at plot 23. I'm going to paste it here and leave it empty for about a week so you guys can come on, look at it more in depth and understand how to actually build it yourself. Now, obviously, if you can't understand the tutorial, then you won't need this. But I'm going to paste it here so you guys can obviously come look at it, see how it's built and then build it yourself. Okay, so now once you've got to this point, we're going to place our block of choice on each of these. I'm just using red sandstone. You can use any block you want. You're going to place it on each of the ends in the water like so. But when you get to the end, you're going to leave this because when you go around the farm, you're going to be here farming and then you're going to fall off. And that's what's going to get you back to the start of the farm. So we're going to start farming here, go this way. And once we go all the way to the end, we're going to go forward and then this way. 
So once we're here, we're going to want to be able to get to here. Now, what we're going to have to do is place TNT here to get rid of the water, break you, destroy all this, break this, obviously place the TNT there to block off the water and break you. Now, we're breaking the soul sand because what we're actually going to do is... Now, what we're going to do is we're going to break this trap door. Water is going to flow down and it gets rid of the snow. So you should probably do that first. I messed up. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come around here and we're going to place dirt like so to stop the water. Now, if we go through here, place the snow down again and like so, we have a way to get through. Now, what we're going to do, you can either use trap doors on here or signs. We're going to use trap doors. So if we get trap doors, we're going to place them like so on each of these. And now we can get rid of the TNT. Now, the water isn't going to actually destroy the snow this time. So when we're farming, we can go up like so, just go forward and then continue. Obviously, we can't right now because that's there. So if we go here, pretend we're farm, 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 go forward and then farm this way. Obviously, I have my speed very slow, so we are going to go slow. But that's how it works. So we're going to do that for each of these ends. Obviously, make sure if we go this way, like so up and then we're going to come back down this way so then we need to do it on this one up we're going to be here do it on this one up this one go through here and so on until we get to the end and then once we're at the end we'll obviously fall off so basically you need to complete this on each of the layers and then obviously the opposite on this side so i'm going to do that real quick and then i will be back one thing i forgot to mention once you're doing this obviously you've placed tnt here so this is now no longer going to be a full block you're going to want to make it a full block, so go like so, and then that way you stay at the same speed. So once you've built each of the rows, what you're going to want to do is obviously get a basket of seeds and place melon on each of these. And this is the farm complete. Now do note, using a basket of seeds only works for two and a half plots. Don't ask me why. It it just does so once it's here you're going to want to go to here and place it again now you want to do this quite quickly because once these melons grow and you've not done it they can grow into this and obviously less melon blocks will grow which means less money which is obviously the whole point of this that you want loads of money so i'm going to do this real quick and once this is back i will show you how you actually farm this farm okay so now that all the melons are grown you are going to want to farm it with the your being negative 0, 0.00 and the pitch being anywhere between negative 58.3 and negative 59 once you are at 400 speed obviously you get the rancher's boots select 400 and click done put them on once you've got your your to where it needs to be if you set your spawn here like so once you get to the end you will die say we die and then we spawn back up here and then we can keep going so once you are here what you need to do if you just press a in space if you have your key set to space you will miss blocks as you can see now this is because you now have to use depth strider 3 now you have to use this because the like i said at the start of the video they've made it so cats can't actually make you go any higher than 400 so if you press w on either a or d depending on what direction you go and hold down space you will then farm like so and now you do this and you go each way so once we get to the end i'll cut back in the video and show you okay so now when you're here once you can't go any further obviously because you're at the end press forward and switch to d and then you continue farming now you do this till you get to the end of the farm you die and then you start again that's how you actually farm this now i'm going to do a quick test of one run through and i will be back once i've done that to show you how much you get from one run 20 minutes later all right so i have done a quick run through of this farm just once and it took about 14 and a half minutes so i have bountiful on my melon dicer which means i get money every time i break a block one harvest of this farm i got about 250k now during this contest i did have up to six pests which did reduce my farming fortune by 30 percent. this was during the last row so it wasn't too bad but it did reduce by five percent like in the middle of the test 
So this isn't exact, but I normally have with my melon dicer about 1,247 on tab. So that's what farming fortune I have for this. I gain 249,000 coins from the bountiful. And then if we go to the bazaar, I earn 3.1 million. Now I did get 10 enchanted melon bot from the RNG. We're not going to include that because let's just say you don't get lucky. So we earned about 2.5 million. Add the 250k from the purse and then say the squash. So that's about 3 million, give or take. Took 15 minutes. Do that four times to make an hour. And in an hour, we earn about 12 million. Now, my farm fortune's not the best, but it also isn't the worst. So on average, you're going to get around 12 million coins per hour using this farm. Now, that's, that's quite good for farming. Now, that is this tutorial. Obviously, this farm is melon king and sun Tzu's farm so i will leave a link to their joint channel down below in the description if you did enjoy this video make sure to drop a thumbs up subscribe and comment down below what you thought of the video and also what other farms would you like to see on the channel if you'd like to visit me island do slash visit it's actually bear my ign is in the top corner there if you like to visit me island to obviously see the other plot feel free to do so that's going to be it for this video. I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Yo, I ain't here for the money. I ain't here for the fame. Though it might be nice to own a jet plane. I'm going to do it all for you. Come along and see us true.